Guess we're gonna try this out. Oh, it's a 21. I feel bad. Oh my god, 150. Oh, holy crap. <laughs>
is what it was called, right? Medium wide. So we got a wood one of those. Medium wide that too. I want harpoon, so we can try that out. Let's. What does it take for the harpoons? Just flint metal and wood. Flint fiber. My bad. Five metal and wood. Let's do five of those. Um, harpoons. We we want the the actual heart. What's it called? A spear. <laughs> there we go. So that takes fiber, hide, carotenoid, metal, organic paste, and wood. We might as well make. Let's make. Uh, we'll just make fifteen of those. We're gonna have so many new toys to play with. <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, cargo deal. There's what's the. Uh, there's a new other thing too for the, um, like for when you're with, um, uh, crap, what is it called? Uh, it's like a, a storage thing for the animals as you're running around. Uh, storage? No? Mm. Box. The basics. Oh, building. Let's see. Reading through all this stuff really fast. Here's a prime, isn't it? Large storage box. Large wood wall. Ice box. Yeah, I'm not sure. It would be. It's something that has to go with the taming things. Hmm. Is it? Do we just put a storage box in the deal? I think that I saw one out on one of our creatures. Let's just grab some stuff, guys. Let's just grab some stuff. All of our things are pretty much done. We'll take all the stuff here. Okay. All right. So one of them was already built. I saw it over on a bear over here. Large harness storage crate. Okay, let's um, keep pressing them. Let's take a look. That's okay. So we want a crate harness. It's not under. It wasn't large, was it? Okay, I I don't. I wonder if that means that we just build a. A large box and snap it into one of these guys so check this out though cargo weight scale on land times 0.33 percent so let's do um let's just grab some granite real quick off the ground okay we just need 100 anyways i think all right so 73 on us for 210 24. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Oh, does this change to 70? <gasps> it does. Nice. Okay. That's cool. Uh, crossbow goes in the spot of your rifle ish deal or your carbine. So that's cool. Let's check that first. Oh, that is nice looking. Ooh. Oh, it's got like a little snake head on it. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'll take a screenshot. That's cool looking. Okay. Uh, reload. Whoa, whoa. What? Look at... Oh, you're like loading more than one? Wait, what? So you have multiples in there? Um, I'm really sorry about this boar, but I should definitely check this out. Oh, okay. Oh, he's like cock at the bottom to reload it. If I do R, does it just put two new ones in? Oh, right, that's, that's pretty neat. I freaking love that. That's great. Um, I, okay, so... One of the things we wanted this for was to shoot underwater. 
oh, oh, oh does not work. Uh, I'm, I imagine that means that the spear gun is our underwater deal then. Our heart, yeah, spear launcher. So I'll have to swap that out. Harpoon. Ooh, I need to see if the harpoon will fit into the sub. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Harpoon or spear gun. That's pretty mean looking. Looks like our textures. There we go. Textures have loaded. Oh, look at the pirate skull on the back of that. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty neat looking. Okay. So we're underwater here. Oh, you can pick it back up. Oh, yeah, buddy. That is great. Okay. Let's shoot my own stuff. But So we have a way to shoot things underwater now, which is great because like, I hate jumping off and having sharks just smoke me because i got nothing to shoot them with. Okay. Uh, gateway? Alright, so I'm just going to put... Ooh, crabs would be a good thing to check. I'm just going to put this down and we're going to demolish it afterwards. It sucks a little bit to, to do that and lose the, the mats on it, but I just want to see. I don't know, floaty bits there, but... That's pretty good looking. I, I really like how that looks. Um, let's go get ourselves a giraffe. We'll try that first. I'm so It's so funny. It's just like new toys, man. Oh, yeah. No problem. So a giraffe can go through. I'll go get an elephant to make sure to. I don't. Crab. Crab. Let me go. Crap. Crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go this way. I doubt the crab's going to make it through, right? Like, the crab's a big dude. It seems weird if they'd be able to make it through that little, little opening. Okay. You stay there. Let's get this guy. <sighs> That lion's still out there. Hmm. Better not be able to run through there, buddy. Okay. Elephant looks a bit wide, but I think we're golden. Oh, that's so good. So instead of having giant behemoth gates, we can just do smaller ones. The behemoth ones are still nice if you're doing like, if you're like going to like lock in like a ship area, because I know the ships can fit through them. Um, and now we got to check the crabs. Let's see if the crabs will make their way through that. I'm so excited about all the cool new stuff. It's just science time, guys. We're just messing with new things, seeing how it all works. I can't wait to try this ship cargo deal. Okay. Can we make it through? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that probably shouldn't work. But you know what? I'm not mad about it. <laughs> it just... <laughs> <laughs> okay yep oh you know what and i uh <clears throat> i don't think i said this on video but uh as soon as i got done with the crab thing uh it's literally as soon as i stopped recording i remembered you just have to press c to throw things so when you're holding on to something just press c and it will throw them um so yeah i forgot to say that uh it was one of those like really dumb moments when i realized it afterwards but you know what are you gonna do okay demolish this Finish this. Okay. Icebox deal. Which I think we're gonna put on a we're gonna put it on a boat, I think. I want my crossbow back out because that's awesome. We want to try the harpoon and the cargo deals. So let's go ahead and run over to um Rust and Ruin. Uh, I don't know if I want to take you with that stupid lion out there. Man, we're pretty fast. It'll be fine. Well, we're not fast right now because I'm fat. Well, that could be good, right? To have the weight on us for this stuff. Yeah, we're going to want weight so we can check that out. We're not as fast, though. As long as that line doesn't get us, we'll be okay. Run! Cold sauce, run! <laughs> All right. We have to rust and ruin. Um... Actually, we'll probably see if we can... We're going to try the... 
Oh. Let's see if we can put the harpoon in the uh, the submarine too. Okay. Uh, up you go. Swim to the back. Man, the harpoons are going to be so cool. So with a galleon, anything you harpoon is coming to you. That's just how it's going to work. Uh, and I think you reel them in just like grappling hooks and stuff. With, um, But it should work with other ship sizes too, right? But you guys all should still be up there. Cost me a whole lot of gold doing that. Actually, for 4.1 hours isn't bad. Man, just stay there for now. Okay. Uh, dinghy dock. We got one off to the side here. So can I just place this? The require oh oh it actually oh so it actually puts like a dinghy dock on. Okay. Well let's demolish this. And let's put this on. Okay, access inventory. So we're anchored, which means we can put stuff in. Okay, wait, I didn't see. Um, 175. Oh, 35. Oh, that's great. Okay. So there's, it sounds like these, um, hold for options. Oh, that's for the, the ship itself. It sounds like, um, oh, I can't climb up there easily from here. So does that, can I like raise and lower these? Release cargo? Does that just like, does that just drop this? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing important in it. That's, that's the time to do it, right? These look great. Oh man, they did a good job with this. Okay, so if I drop this, is it just gonna drop stuff and then I can't use it again? Okay, I'm gonna get off here first before I do this, just in case. Release cargo. <laughs> oh, it just drops in the water. <laughs> what? Ouch. It just floats here. Can I, I can't get on top of it. It'd be nice if you get on top of it. Can I climb it? No. Can I grab and hook on top of it? Okay. Okay, number one, this is kind of cool that you can stand on top of it in the water. Uh, that's pretty awesome. The cargo, 99 out of 100. So you can access it because it's just chilling here. Access inventory only. Can I pick it back up now that it's there? And do you have to like make each cargo pod? Like if I lose that, do I have to make another one? Hmm. These are the questions that are important. Okay. Cargo rack. Scoop float some cargo. Ah! It works. You just pick it up off the thing. Oh, that's cool. And then, all right, we're going to just drop, we're going to weigh anchor for a second here. I think you have to be anchored. Yeah, look, must be anchored to add or remove items. So I can still release it. Nice, okay. Um, I can still release it and pick it up, but I can't access it unless we're, we're down. Oh, this is going to be sweet, guys. This is going to be so cool. Um, okay, so let me let me read this part for us real quick. Uh, where's the thing at? New structures. Nope. Uh, boat attachment. Okay, cargo racks. Reduce the weight of items that are inside of its inventory. It has a maximum carrying capacity. can only be accessed when the boat is anchored. Each cargo container will slow down your boat. Oh, okay. Uh, at maximum cargo carriers attached, the boat speed will reduce to a total of 40%. So if you, so if we put all of these on, the boat would be slower. Like 
if I put all of the ones on that we could, it would slow the boat down to the point that we couldn't go anything past. It reduces it a total of 40%. So we'd only go 60% of our speed if we had all of them placed. So we probably just won't ever do all of them, right? We'll just do new things. Uh, we'll do like part of them. So like on the brig, which is what I'll probably end up using for cargo hauling. On the brig, we'll end up just using uh, probably two of four, you know, so because they can do four. So we'll do two instead. Okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, I think they redid the sails too. Um, give me a second. I'm just going to pull it up too. Ship sails, yep. So um, the the small weight sails do a thousand uh, bonus weight. Mediums do twenty five hundred, and large does four thousand. Now that's cool. And then uh, the small, ooh, the handling sails are more effective. Uh, in the wind now so that's cool so that means it'll be even better than they were before oh okay it's been exciting so far let's put the um ice box down and see how that works when well, you guys are off so you be like oh you, you guys are way well, that you were 5.4 before okay so um i guess we'll put the ice box in here Just put it um, kind of over this way. Okay, that's pretty neat looking. Area is too hot. Oh, it produces ice? A storage container used to produce ice and keep it frozen can be activated to cool the surrounding area. When activated, it consumes ice at a higher rate. Uh, and it re consumes rate ice at a higher rate if it's outdoors. So if I get this in a cold region, this makes ice. Oh, neat. This looks really good, guys. I like, like, the metal. It looks nice and insulated. Oh, I dig this. This is nice. Okay. Oops, no, we can't. Uh, back space. Uh, all right, cool. Let's check out. Because we're checking all the stuff out. I think I've got, I've got a ballista in here. Um, I, I was going to put ballistas up front, but I couldn't build up here i think i can probably put them back here and be fine still well they do pretty good right there too but i, I was thinking i'll put them like i don't i don't want to shoot i don't want to shoot her Okay, so harpoon. I probably need something to shoot at to harpoon it, right? I wonder if I can pick these back up. I don't know if I can pick those back up. <laughs> it looks like it's still there. Let's see. Ballista bolt. Oh, oh my. Uh, guess we're going to try this out. Oh, it's a 21. I feel bad. Oh my God, 150. Oh. Holy crap! <laughs> That's great! Crossbow for the win! Man, I feel bad. It was 21. We could have tamed that guy, but... Whew. Okay, so that was a ballista bolt I picked up, but I put a harpoon in. So, you must have to make... Can I put down my fist? Can we not be in fist cuffs? Oh. Is that a shark? Should we... <laughs> Should we chance? Should we test our luck? Level two shark. Hey, buddy. It's time for testing. This is science time. We're going. Oh, hello, Manta. <laughs> That's a good enough test, I guess. Pick my bolt back up. Yep. 
Well, that worked well. What's up, shark? It take a little time to get there. <laughs> That's pretty good. I got my bolts back. Probably not. Give me. All right, well, that works great. Like, it's real good. The new weapons are fantastic. I'm very happy with them. Okay. Uh, we need to get... I want to shoot another ship. <laughs> Even if it's one of our own ships, I want to shoot one. So I guess I'm going to go grab another ballista real quick. We got a harpoon. And I want to try it in... In the boat or in the sub still too. We're losing daylight. <laughs> uh, I know this has been kind of a we're just kind of we're just doing stuff, guys. It's just it's science time. This is all new fun stuff. I want to I just want to play with everything. We'll gather more information as we go. Okay, I should probably not uh, just jump to my death here. Oh, I tried brass knuckles out too. Uh, just to kind of see how they work. It's not bad. And now you can kind of... Uh, they changed it so you can like hit while you're running and stuff. Which will definitely help. Okay. Uh, take this off. Quick, before the sunlight's gone. And we'll, we'll just... Uh... Well, you know what? Monkey's probably got some harpoons on the silverback, right? There's some ballistas. Yeah, I can see them up there. So we'll go try that out. I don't need that either. I can see a ladder. Look at how f <laughs> like how far back the this is parked. <laughs> like the rudder's barely in the water. That's perfect. Okay. Silverback, can I use you to shoot one of our own ships? If I can get over the cannons, I can. I'm amazing. I can't get past the people, though, probably. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay, there, if there's a... Okay, so I want to put one of these in. Then I want to left shift to change it. Reload. Okay, right mouse button to reel in. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I left clicked. Man, okay. Look, there's like a little thing that you're doing for it. I mean, it's anchored, so I can't do anything. Okay. That is pretty awesome. We got two left, so we're going to use those. <laughs> it's still stuck to it. <laughs> do you have to release it? Oh, I think I have to left click. Oh, no? but that reloads. Oh, that used up a bolt, I think. It did. We only have one left. Okay. Well, it's one less we can test. I doubt that this is going to work in a sub, but we're going to find out for sure. So we got two subs on here now. That's pretty neat. All right, let's go get on our catapult here. Load in. I get jumping here. Ooh. <laughs> Flying through all the mass. Perfect. Uh, oh, I tried pressing E. Did not work. Let's try to catch the ladder. All right. So what we'll do now is we will drop the sub into the water. We're going to just try to see if we can put... Uh, that piece in or not. Let's take this off. Mm. 
Okay. Release the ship. Or the submarine. Okay, if I put this in. No, okay, it does not. I'm sorry, turtle, I did not mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that does not count for those. So they definitely don't work there. I didn't expect them to, but I was hopeful. Uh, unboard. Oh, I can just return it to the ship here. Okay. Well. We have done much in the way of testing these new things out. There's still new things for us to look at. Um, the two new creatures that are added. We will probably be able to see... One of them might show up on our island. There's... Um, elephant camel looking thing that can spray water so we'll look for one of those the tortigar is a turtle submarine troop carrier i need to add islands to the map to put those in um and then there is a new snow ice dungeony deal um that needs some islands added to i don't know that i've got the room let's go this way instead i don't know that we have the room to add the ice island deals um, we're already pretty packed up here so yeah I'll have to look we need these two for uh, power stones so if we do the voyage of power those are both power stone islands um, forager up here this is one of the only places we can get sunstone uh, and this is a place where people actually live usually so I don't know if I can squeeze another polar island in up there um we'll probably put the tortigar islands we can probably try to sneak squeak one in around here or in this vicinity i'm gonna see if we can put one in the trench it'd be kind of nice if we put one over the trench um and then yeah so we've just kind of got like we've got a bunch of, we'll have to put some new quests in um thankfully I know how to do that stuff, <laughs> so I will be doing that for our servers. We'll get to play with some new stuff. So hopefully in the next episode or two, I'll have some of that stuff turned on for us. We can't do the ice dungeon and fight the snow abominable snowman thing until we've gotten all the power stones, and we haven't done that yet. So that'll be one of our next goals is to start getting power stones. Uh, so we need to outfit a ship and get geared up and do that. Looks like at this point, I can probably just take all my, uh, my crossbows with me because... <laughs> <laughs> those are ridiculous those are amazing all right if you guys have enjoyed the episode and seeing the fun new things in atlas feel free to drop a like below you can always subscribe for more content if you'd like to join us here on the iron geeks patreon.com slash rally you can join us and you can play here and have fun with us too all right guys thanks for watching i'll catch you on the flip side